I want to have a little bit of a PSA because of some of upsetting dichotomy I saw over the last 24 hours. So last night, I went to a board game club. They were holding a tournament for Magic the Gathering. And um, I saw three couples there, but they didn't bring any of their friends who were solo sexual, right? It was a triple date. And then this morning on my way to the office, uh, as I'm driving down uh, the uh, 156 Avenue to get to the, the highway, I see five birds flying in a V formation. And in my mind, I think of it as a triple date, but with one of the birds being solo sexual. And it, it, it saddened me to think that birds could do something that humans are incapable of, or we have this prejudice, right? You go to the workplace as a single guy, people want to know if you finally got a girlfriend. I got some news for you. Not everybody who is single is out there looking for somebody. I also have some news for you. Next time you um, you prepare your favorite dish and you offer it at a party and somebody uh, refuses, not everybody is tempted to dig in. You might be thinking, well, this guy's on a diet and he must be really uh, uh, resisting the temptation. No, I'm here to tell you not everybody needs to resist any sort of temptation. Uh, they have other interests besides the food, right? That's not to say they hate you for preparing the food. That's to say that it's not compatible with their bodies, right? I also have some news for you. Not everybody can safely pick up a food and put it in their mouth without finding out what went into it, right? Uh, but animals seem to understand that, right? So, like we found out two years ago, humans weren't made to eat bats, right? Some animals certainly are, and we're comfortable living and let, letting live. Actually, I don't think it's so much that humans are not capable of eating bats. I think some of us have poisoned our immune system to the point that a bat is going to make us ill, right? And um, I think I'm living proof of that. I've tested positive for eating bats twice, and I hardly felt a thing, right? Although I did try to stay away from other people, obviously. Anyway, uh, the other thing I want to point out is not everybody enjoys life in the same way that you do, right? So, uh, at my office, a lot of people, when they think of vacation, they think about going to, I think the top, top three vacation destinations are New York, Las Vegas, New Orleans, and I think Los Angeles, and um, those are not my cup of tea, right? And unfortunately, a lot of times... Uh, my vacation plans, if anything has to be sacrificed, mine gets put on the back burner because, uh, you know, you could, you, you're, you're hardly even going to relax yourself anyway. I, I got news for you. I did try to go to Las Vegas and I scarcely enjoyed it. I mean, it was a new experience for me and to find out just why the fuck people were going there. But uh, I went there for two nights and ah, that's not for me. And I headed to Phoenix where I spent, uh, we were working remotely at the time. I spent four months there. Anyway, anyway, uh, don't assume people love what you love. Uh, don't assume everybody needs somebody else, either of the opposite sex or uh, anybody at all, right? Don't assume that what you call food and delicious, it, it can't be somebody else's poison, but they'll still appreciate that you put the thought into it. They'll still appreciate it as a piece of art, right? There's plenty of artwork that I can't eat, right? That I still enjoy, right? A, a food that I'm allergic to is just like that, right? I, I'm not upset about it. I, I'm not against it. It's just not food to me. It's kind of like a bowl of bat soup, right? We can admire that there are people or animals that can eat it, but we can't, right? Uh, thanks for watching.